Well, it's something like 8,000 houses that need to be moved out of the red zone, either demolished or packed up or put on the back of trucks. There's a lot of work going on. And what we're seeing is a lot of those houses are getting large parts of them, the ones that are being demolished, large parts of them are being recycled. So that's doors, windows, kitchens and bathrooms. And that's really good because it's being recycled, but it also means there's a real opportunity for people building houses or remodeling houses or refurbishing them to get bits of houses really cheap. So, I mean, a typical house like this weighs about 40 tonnes. Um, what we're seeing is the recycling can reduce that waste by 15, even 25 percent. So that just reduces the amount of stuff going to landfill, but more importantly, the stuff that's being reused has got real value to other people, and that's stuff which doesn't have to be mined or dug out of the ground or, or made from fresh materials. There's also more than just um, people recycling bits of houses. Um, we're also seeing people picking up entire houses, moving them around the city or moving them out of Christchurch. But there's also a technique called flat packing, where the house is essentially um, pulled apart and put in containers, and then the whole house is then reassembled on another site. Yes, we were dem uh, demolishing houses in the red and, gr and green zones of, of, of Christchurch, uh, and, and we took that on board with these, uh, especially, especially the newer homes, where the, where the diggers uh, obviously got to and they destroyed them. I suppose that's where the, the idea probably possibly came from, um, just to think if, if we can minimise wastage. The process which we have got now is pretty much a reversal process from the build. So, uh, I mean, the, the, ki the kitchens come out first, the bathrooms and um, the, the, the linings which come off, then uh, the trusses and frames come down. Um, the stacking of the container, we've e even got the, the system down pat, the, the stacking of the container. Um, obviously you don't want to get something out of the container um, that's right at the back that you need it in early in the building process. So we, we try to have a catalogue system as well as of a container so they know where things are. Anything like that we can to help the builders at the other end, um, we are all too happy to. Um, we have had some correspondence back from the builders as well um, that have, have built um, the early ones probably in, independently and I mean the feedback's been great from them as well and, and some, some, some helpful hints as well of what to do so, so that's been brilliant as well. Um, but the, the houses initially they have to meet um, the age bracket so they have to be uh, meet, meet uh, building code to, to date so they have to be 2004 upwards. We do prefer probably 2005, 2006 just to be on the safe side um, so there aren't any issues at all with, with council having us rebuild these, these homes. Um, in terms of the damage, um, depending where the damage is on the properties, um, if it is joinery, then, then 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 we can't really repair that. But if it, if it is just a framing matter, um, and if, if the subfloor has been damaged, then then obviously that doesn't go with it. But if it's just solely framing, depending where they are cracked and damaged, we we, we can salvage them. But if they are beyond repair, then there's there's just there's too much cost to to rebuild and rectify the situation. To it isn't for everybody. Um, I mean, I, I can completely agree with that. It, it is a good way of building, it is a, a cheap way of building and the whole recycling of the whole house, I mean, if, if we don't have any trucks that all go to build tip, build a landfill, then that's a good thing. The people that do hear that their house is either going to be, be relocated or, or, or deconstructed are over the moon about it um, and it is, a, it is a bit of a shame and it's super upsetting when you, t when, especially on the demolition side, you, your machine goes into someone's house and they want to be there to be to see it demolished is, is really quite upsetting. Um, so I suppose on that side of things, we haven't yet come across anybody that has been against the whole idea. And then for the other side is, 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 is the, um, the, the people that, they, they think it's a fantastic idea, yet it's a, it's a new idea, but it's, it's certainly a different idea. And um, we have been, um, had, had high praise from a lot of people in regards to it too. So um, it is quite positive going forward for us. It does feel good the the whole the whole the whole warm and fuzzy of it all the to to sit to see something be reused. I mean, there's a lot of devastation out there in the, in the whole crush. It's um, both red and green zones, to be fair. Um, and and if we can possibly do a part in, in helping someone get a cheaper house, someone save something at the other end, and not let have so much destruction around, then then I mean, it does feel good for for my point of view. That the, the boys as well. They are quite satisfied when they walk off site with one of these. So here we are, another example of a flat packed recycled red zone house that's been finished here in Rolleston. 
Um, from a building compliance point of view, uh, it's been quite an easy journey. Uh, new foundations to suit the ground conditions and all the existing materials certified through the building consent process. We can certainly see the value in it for a lot of people. Um, you know, like any building process, it requires a lot of due diligence at the front end, making sure that you've got the right checks and balances, clearly having a building consent's a critical part of that, um, and, and making sure people make sure it's going to fit the property and the section. There are issues around covenants and um, subdivision requirements that people need to check out first. Uh, but again, from a building co-compliance point of view, this is all doable, and we're pleased to see the finished product. Yeah, look, there's some great learnings here for New Zealand, I think, in terms of seeing the opportunity to take um, some pretty um, some pretty good building stock that's had, yeah, it's been a bit kicked around by the earthquakes, but it can be fixed, it can be repaired and relocated and re-established. So just from, if nothing else, an environmental point of view, there's some great wins here. So that's another initiative that we're working with, um, with the demolition companies, with the insurers, to try and make sure as much of that stuff is being reused in a really sensible way. It also obviously keeps our cost of housing down as well. The more we can flat pack houses, pick up houses that are being demolished before they're being demolished, that's good for everybody.